Today I will show you how to swap faces in Photoshop. So let's start. Hi guys, my name is Nemanja Sekulic and welcome to another fun episode. Today we will swap some faces, so let's jump straight into Photoshop and let's have fun. Alright guys, today we will have fun with this image and we will swap these two faces. But before we start, let me tell you something important about this process. If you want to swap two faces in Photoshop, you need both of them to have same lighting conditions, to be lit in the same way. You don't want one face to be lit from a side and another, for example, from a front. And if you swap them, you will have completely unrealistic result. It is the same with the angle of shooting and the perspective. You want both of them to be shooting from the same angle and with, uh, from the same perspective. You don't want one face to be facing in a camera and another to be facing somewhere in a side because if you swap them, you will have, of course, again, unrealistic result. All right, so let's go back in Photoshop and let's start with this process. Okay, first step is to use the lasso tool L on a keyboard and I want to make a copy of this woman's face. I will make a selection a little bit bigger than her face, something like so, and I will press Control Command J on a keyboard to make a copy of that. V on a keyboard for a move tool, and I will just move here in a front of this man's face. Press, uh, okay, I will first lower the opacity around 50%, and now press Control Command T, and rotate it and make it bigger to match this guy's face. Something like so maybe, let's make it a little bit smaller, maybe it's too big, something like so. You need to adjust that. You can adjust it later even better if you're not sure now, but something like, like so, it's pretty much okay for now. All right, let's bring opacity bank bank back to the 100% and let's hide this layer right go back to the background and now do the same step with this man's face let's make selection a little bit bigger than his face like so control command j and just move it here lower the opacity around 50% or so and we need to make this face smaller and to rotate it to fit this position, let me see, this is pretty much okay. I think this is okay. Maybe a little bit bigger, just a touch. Let me see, something like so. And now let's bring it back to 100. Let's rename this to man and this to woman. Nice, let's bring her back. Okay, first we will start with this guy here. I will make a layer mask and I will press B on a keyboard for a brush, make this brush a little bit bigger and I will use really soft one, 0% hardness and I will just with the black brush paint out the parts that I don't need. Maybe I will make him even bigger, I will see now. Maybe I need to make him a little bit bigger. We will later fix these eyeglasses. If you uh, don't have eyeglasses, it will be much easier, but we have it now and we need to fix that, right? Control Command T, maybe make it a little bit bigger, like so. Maybe move it with the arrows a little bit up. Let me see something, something like so, it's not bad. Okay, let's zoom it. And now we need to refine this mask, right? Something like so. And let's move it to the right, like so. Okay. And let's refine this mask, this mask a little bit. And we will clone this glasses later. Okay. Something like this is nice. And I will unlower the opacity of the brush, maybe on 20% and just paint here to better blend this skin with, and maybe 10% with uh, the woman's skin, okay. 
this is really really nice now i'll make a new layer and call it retouch okay uh, like that and i will use a stamp or clone tool and let me see i will clone out these glasses let's sample here and just paint like so that's nice and we are basically done with this guy it's see it's so easy let's go to the woman she's a little bit more uh, work to do but we will do that again let's make a layer mask use a brush be on a keyboard and use a black brush really soft one 100 opacity and just erase unwanted parts okay like so and you need to be more careful here about around eyeglasses and let me see let's erase this here and now i will switch to harder brush like 80 percent or so make it smaller and just carefully remove this unwanted background something like so it's nice right i don't need that and this part around the glasses because we want to leave them intact something like so okay and here like so that's nice and the inner part too okay we will you will see i will fix it later to blend more seamlessly just to remove this unwanted part like so it's really nice and maybe this part here let's click here hold shift and click here like so it's nice okay she is now not she or he it's now not looking so good and i will use again brush and really soft one okay and i will use maybe 10 percent opacity and just paint here with 10 percent opacity a few more times just to blend it a little bit better with the original skin like so and let me see here maybe i will move that let me see if i move it to the right it's not bad and i will use maybe 40 percent opacity change it constantly to find the right amount something like so it's nice okay i'll fix those eyeglasses better a little bit later it's i'll fix now actually 100 percent opacity and just fix this okay and now let's make 30 percent opacity just to have like that and 100 percent opacity and do like to so remove these parts and maybe 20 percent opacity and remove these parts here and you need to paint like that to blend it a little bit better and this part here too you need to blend it a little bit better it's a little bit tricky around these eyeglasses but it's not so hard let me see and this part here like so you can choose which part of the forehead you will leave from the original image and which part you will change i want to change this because i don't want her hair on his face i will raise all of this and let me see that's really nice now we have a problem with the color here her skin it's a little bit more warmer than his skin if you see his he has a lot of reddish and magenta tone and she has yellowish tone on her skin so we will fix that really easy we will use curves okay and i think she has a little bit darker skin he here in the forehead than he yes and we will 
correct that too. Okay, for that first I will use black and white adjustment layer because I want only to look at the lights now. I don't want to see the color. And with the curves, clip it, clip it to woman's layer. To clip the layer to another layer, just hold Alt or Option key between those two layers and click it like so. Nice. And now I will make him a little bit brighter. I'm only looking at the forehead here and something like so. It's really nice. And go to the mask, invert the mask, Control Command I and use white brush and just paint to the parts you want to make brighter like so because this part I want to make a little bit darker. That's nice. I can make another curse, clip it and make it a little bit darker like so. Invert the mask and just paint on these parts that you want to make darker, the nose for example. And that's not bad. Okay, let's get rid of this black and white layer. We can delete it. And now we will fix the color. For that I will again use the curves adjustment layer, you can use uh, maybe color balance or hue and saturation etc. But I love the curves and I will remove some, some uh, yellowish by adding a little bit of the blue like so. And I will add a little bit of the red, something like so. And let me put this into luminosity blending mode and this into luminosity blending mode to affect only the lights, not the color of the skin. That's the reason why I'm putting the curves into the luminosity blending mode. Okay. And let me see now with this one before and after, before and after. It's really, really nice. Now we can remove a little bit from here with the black brush and 20% opacity. Okay. Or need to add here maybe. And I want to desaturate that with hue and saturation. Let's lower the saturation just a touch like so. And you can go back to the woman's layer mask and with 10% opacity just with the black brush just paint a little bit over those parts to blend it a little bit better. Something like so. And I want to bring back this part of the eyeglasses. Okay, I will use 100% opacity and let me see, like so. And then I will use 20% opacity and just mask it like so. It's not bad. Let's zoom it and it's nice. We really nice swap those faces. All right, guys, that's basically it. If you want, you can color correct this image a little bit. I will do that really quickly to show you just that part of the process and we are done with this swap image tutorial. So let's do a quick color correction. For first, I will use curves and I will add some contrast. I will make some S curve like so. Maybe it's too much in highlights. I will add a little bit more in the shadows like so. And I will put that in a luminosity blending mode to affect only the lights. Now, if I'm in a normal blending mode, I will add a lot of saturation. But in a luminosity blending mode, I'm only affecting the lights. Okay, before and after, before and after. I want to desaturate this image a little bit and I will use Hue and Saturation Adjustment Layer for that and desaturate it a touch, like so. That's really nice, like a little bit older look, like older image. And we can add maybe some split toning effect with a solid color layer. You can choose any color you want for shadows. I want this dark, dark blue, like so. And if you put now this into Exclusion Blending Mode, you will have that dark bluish tone in the shadows and opposite complementary colors. What it, uh, in this case it's yellow, you will have that in the highlights. Let me show you before and after, before and after. And if you don't like that, you can always change that, change another color. For example, if you want yellow in the, in the shadows and blue in the highlights, you can do like that or green color anything like that. Let's leave the green one. It's not bad before and after before and after. And of course, you can add maybe even more contrast here if you want it something like so that's really nice. Let me now show you complete process before and after. This is before face swap and this is after before and after. 
Alright guys, that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you like it and that you learn something new out of it. As you can see, this is really fun and easy process to do. You just need a little bit of practice. You can have a lot of fun with your friends or family photos or you can even swap faces with some animals. You can maybe put a dog's face on your friend face, etc. You just need to remember that you need two faces that have same lighting conditions and same perspective and angle of shooting. And that's basically it. Everything else, it's your creativity and imagination. So practice, experiment and have fun. See you next week in the next fun episode. Bye bye.